Hey there, we just finished the uh, announcement uh, event for the International Art Exhibition, announcing the winners. And we had the juror, Anita Rogers, on the broadcast. And I gotta say, you know, this exhibition is so much work and it just makes it all worth it when you see the impact it has on the artists that got in, got in and just how, how favorably everyone responded to it. Everyone learned a lot. It was just really, really cool. I wanted to touch, touch base though um, around the fact that most people didn't get in. There was five thousands of pieces of art uh, that she looked at. She chose 54, <laughs> 60 actually, with all the first and second, third place winners. Um, and that's a small percentage. And, but I want to just say a couple things. First of all, and this kind of came out in the call, it was really great. And I'll have a link to the recording if you want to watch the call. Um, that, that, that it takes, um, th th there's a f sense of this rejection that if you don't get into something. And I want to say that this, this is one day with one person choosing what they like on one specific day. I've, this is the fifth year we've done it. And I've seen every time we do it, I'm always surprised. I'm always happy with the choices, but it's so subjective. It's all over the place. And, and yes, the work's good for sure. Everything that gets in these shows is really good, but there's a ton of amazing work. So know that. Um, and also that the point of doing this, the point of entering the exhibition, the thing that we try to push home is to get artists in the habit of saying yes, uh, to, to be willing to put their work out there. There's a big step in doing this. It's kind of um, scary and it's vulnerable to enter something because we're afraid that we don't get in. Uh, Karen Stamper, the, uh, an artist, uh, I saw one of her posts, I was scrolling and she said her goal for this year was to have, um, to have 10 rejections. And I think she was up to like five or six. So she's doing pretty well. And I think that's just such a great attitude for how we have to be, especially around getting our work out there in the world. And, you know, it was interesting that when we did this uh, event, we just finished it, uh, I was talking to the, uh, one of the honorable mentions, Cindy Hergo Pellerin, and she was saying she procrastinated and procrastinated on entering this show. And she waited and waited and waited and she did it at the very last minute, like within half an hour of the deadline. But she said yes. And it was that that led to all this, you know, she got a, an award. She was seen by thousands of people and, you know, it's going to really, really gives her a lot of momentum. Uh, I'm thinking of Jeff Horton, who he was a third place and he, he you know, he's, He's this architect, he does these really cool paintings and he did this thing. He like took a sewing machine out of the attic and he's like, maybe I can do something with this. And he played around with it and he made this really cool piece with a sewing machine as part of, part of the mixed media in it. The point I'm trying to make is it's just all about saying yes and, and getting good at that and just knowing you wanna push your work out there and get it out there and saying yes and the learning that comes from that you might not win, but there's learning that comes from that that sets you up better for the next time you say yes. And it's just a culture that you develop in yourself of saying yes. I'm thinking of Debbie Mueller, who won first place. And seven years ago, uh, her, she was over. Her mom, I think, is an artist and has, you know, art supplies around. She said, hey, well, you know, why don't you, uh, why don't you try and do some art today? Do some painting. And she said, yes. And She's never looked back. She's been painting ever since then. She has no training. And, and Debbie got first place in, in this exhibition. It was an incredible event. I've got a link down below for you to check it out. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> and so let me know in the comments, you know, how you manage rejection. How do we do this? How do we keep promoting our work? How do we get our work out there? We've got to get it seen. If you want to get it, if you want to make progress with this, and if you want people to see your work, if you want people to buy your work, if you want to get galleries, if that's part of what you're doing, 
um, you need to push it out there. And I'm hoping that this exhibition uh, will, will do that for so many of the folks that got in. So link down below to check out the exhibition. All the works for sale, you can, um, you can contact the artist directly, but have a look at it. Look at what was chosen. Look at the aesthetics of Anita, how she curates. Look at her gallery um, and decide for yourself what you, th what you think of the show. I think there's a lot to be learned here from, uh, she has a really good eye, her and her uh, assistant partner, Elizabeth. It was, um, it's a beautiful show. So I would love you to check it out. This week on the podcast, I have John Seed. He is the author, he's an artist and the author of uh, a book, a second book on um, the art of disruption called More Disruption. It's a coffee table book with all these artists. It's amazing. We're talking about the, all these different artists, the stories. It's super, super inspiring. And, and John's a wonderful guy and he knows so much. So check that out. It's coming out on Wednesday. There's a link down below. Um, to subscribe to the podcast. And I hope all of this stuff is inspiring you to keep going. Um, it does me. <laughs> hope you have a great Sunday. Thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.